something we just don't want to do basically. Um, but unfortunately, little Stanley, where's little Stanley? This is little Stanley, he's not so little anymore. He got abandoned by his mum. And basically, because he was the root of the litter, I would say you have to be careful if you're Just make sure you're showing them you've got literally no food. And they're telling not to just bite that seed. So if you want to touch them, just make sure you just go. And don't hesitate, so if you hesitate, they're likely to bite. So if you want to touch them, just go. Can you pass one more card again? Because I can hear them. Yeah, because it's sharp and your knees around it will be a So little Stanley was abandoned. We found him before he was dead, actually. Um, he literally wasn't moving in our hands, but we managed to warm him up and he started getting active. And then a couple of days later, Lucky got taken off by a crow and dropped in the Wallaby Walk through paddock. And then that just left one of the boys, which is um, Marvin. So we decided to take Marvin to rear his two brothers, basically. And that's how we've ended up with them. We couldn't have put them back into the main group of meerkats because they would have been killed by the family. They're a very social group and they're all extremely close. Just because they've had contact with the humans and the bird, and they've been out the enclosure for a short period of time, to get them back in would have been impossible. And the one that got abandoned anyway, they'd already disowned that one. Aww. So they would have been killed, so we have no choice really but to hand rear them. And we're at this stage now, and they're roughly about 19 weeks old now. Um, but unfortunately, you can legally buy me and cats and keep as pets. No. Um, so what we're going to do is use these boys in a talk to try and discourage people from buying them. <coughs> Because we've ended up having a lot of problems with people ringing the zoo saying, I bought me a cat, so I don't know how to look after them, and so on and so on. Um, so we're going to use them in a talk and just try and discourage people from buying them. Because <laughs> all they want to do is dig and do stuff like yeah. that. I mean, when they're babies, they are incredibly cute. It's a bit like when people buy puppies. Yeah. The cute factor comes in, but as soon as they get big again, is he clothed up yet? Who's this? Hang on a minute. Uh, look at the tails now, because they've all changed. That's lucky. Hello, Lockie. Not Stanley. It's Stanley. Is it Stanley? It's Stanley. It's the baby one. The way I'm, Stanley. I could tell them apart by their faces because they're getting almost as big as one another now. I have to look at their tails. Now Stanley has got a shorter tail than the other two. The one with a thin, slender tail is Marvin, and the fatter one is Lockie. Absolutely. Lovely, man. And they're probably half the size of what they're going to be when they're fully grown. And they're fully grown up for about 10 months to a year. <laughs> Take him off it. <laughs> <laughs> He's digging in my shoe. <laughs> but they don't stay in here all the time. We've got an outdoor, temporary outdoor thing for them at the minute. Yeah. So they come out every afternoon. <laughs> the only problem with that is we have to keep on guard with them all the time. Because even at this young age, they could be taken off by some bird of prey and stuff. Or, believe it or not, stolen by the public because the enclosure we've got them people can just lean in. And just get them. And just get them back. Because they're babies and they're hand <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Whereas the main group over at the reptile house, so you try and grab one of them, they will bite you and it's quite nasty. Is he washing? His head's in my shoe. They're not paying me attention at all. I'm taking on the attention. <laughs> They're lovely, but obviously it's the, um, you know, the compare the meerkat advert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That hasn't helped one bit, no. and that's one of the reasons people are so into meerkats now. Um, and everyone wants to buy them as pets. But everyone thinks they can just keep them like a rabbit in a hutch, and it's not the case. No, they're like the, all the they're like they're, Yeah, they're social grouping, and also their um, social behaviours, and then instinctive behaviours is digging. They can shift their own body weight in just a few seconds. So imagine what they do to your garden. Yeah. I mean, every day in here we have to constantly keep levelling this off because there'll just be big holes everywhere. And they're burrowing, they constantly want to burrow. You guys so like this, shoes, even this space here isn't perfect. I'd want something that's quite depth with sand so they can dig natural burrows. Like yeah. the, the group over the side, yeah. that yeah, they're sand they're... literally is about, it goes about five foot down. Really? And the walls carry on further than that, roughly up to about eight foot deep. So obviously if we didn't make the walls deep enough for them they to get the as like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. someone put touch wood, where's wood, they've never escaped. No. So this isn't ideal for them, but we never thought we'd be hand rearing baby me and cats. It's not yeah, the road we want to go down. Wanted, uh, Luckily these are three boys, so they can remain together. If there was a girl in this group, you'd have to remove it. Really? How come? And um, they could just start breeding and you wouldn't want to. Oh yeah, so you yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the main group, they look after themselves. There's no inbreeding, because it's only the alpha female and the alpha male that breed, you see. He loves me, doesn't he? Does, yeah. Is he Stanley again? Yeah. Hello, little 
little fella. Oh, <laughs> just use it as a slide. Excuse me, hello. <laughs> but at the start, I was having to feed them literally every two to three hours. Yeah, because I was literally about that big in the palm of your hand and we were just oh. feeding them all kitten milk basically and I was having to take them home to do it and it's just like having a baby you constantly having to pay them attention and feed them and all the rest of it What do they eat? Um, now they eat um, mice they eat day old chicks